Aloha everyone, this is Ms. V. Uh, happy full sturgeon uh, blue moon, by the way. Um, so I just wanted to pop on because I've been feeling a lot of energy with this new, with this moon. Um, yeah, so I really wanted, you know, full moons are for getting <laughs> rid of things. That was my door just slamming uh, from the wind. The full moon is about clearing out stuff, getting rid of what no longer serves you. And here in New Jersey, we've been having some serious humidity and having to have the air conditioning on. Um, I've also been going through some creative um, challenges and changes, right? So a lot of that's been harbored kind of in the house and with myself and I'm shifting and changing. So. I have a lot of this stagnant energy that's going on. And I was like, I, ha I gotta shift this energy. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Today we have a, a nice cooler day. It's in the 70s. Great day to open up the windows and just move, move the energies around, get it flowing, circulating, bring in the sunlight into areas of where there may not be as much light, right? That's where a lot of that negative energy likes to hang out. All right, so I this morning I woke up with this kind of thing going on. Um, and I was like, yup, we're doing it today. We're, we're gonna sage the house. Um, so normally when I, like I've been doing some creative work, creating things, I like to um, cleanse the area. Now cleansing the area can be various ways. It can be with sound, um, it can be with um, smoke like Palo Santo, um, smudging with sage, um, you can do spritzing, spirit water, um, different things like that. For, but sometimes you just need a heavy duty clean, right? So what I wound up doing today was, um, to the best of my ability without cleaning the entire house, um, cleaning up the clutter. Right, cleaning clean, clean surfaces, stuff that really annoys the day it lights out of you, like immediately. Right, like I was working on the table and I was like, ah, I, I, I organized chaos, but there was too much chaos going on. So yesterday I started cleaning up, you know, wiping down the floors and things. And you know, when we want to do a, a, a smudging of the home, okay, preferably you want to get every everything clean and tidy. We don't always have time for that. Do what you can with what you got and at least be able to be in that space and feel freer, okay? So I did that, done. I even vacuumed the hallway. So my plan is today, I waited until the neighbors upstairs are all gone before I start smudging everything. So I'm gonna start from the outside of the house and come into the front door. I even like dusted and vacuumed the hallway. And I'm gonna have the side door open, the front door open for ventilation so that any of the nooks and crannies can, the smudge and the smoke can kind of go through and push its way around um, and exit the, the heaviness that's there, right? Anything that would make you feel down, depressed, heavy, um, unsure of yourself, what have you. So I'm gonna start at the front door and work clockwise through the um, hallway, into my home, into each room, right? Um, making sure you're up and down, getting as best as you can the smudge to, like I said, the darker areas, um, stuff that where light that naturally doesn't hit because the sunlight will burn all that off. Um, you know, we can't always get underneath the beds to clean. I have a lot of stuff. I know I'm not the only one. So, um, open up your cabinets. Don't worry about if you haven't, it's, it's okay. Just help yourself with a little extra cleaning. So what I'm going to do here today is kind of show you what, how I, um, I've been doing it. Some people have, you know, big pillar candles and all that. Um, I've been finding, I really love these chim candles. I actually bought, um, they, they're calling it birthday candles, but these are really nice. They burn within themselves. I may have shown this previously, but I'm going to show it again. So let me see if I can get this a little bit closer here. 
So you can see, yes, look at my messy table. I've been working on some um, fun projects to sell. All right, so here I have a little holder. Um, this one is a little wider than I would like, but so to make sure that it stays, what you're gonna do is light your flame, whatever that may be, igniter or matchstick, that's fine. But what you wanna do is melt the bottom a little bit so that you create droplets of wax so that it kind of stays and that the candle doesn't fall over when you are using it and lighting it. Um, I have sand around here. This is a soapstone bowl. Um, so, you know, light your candle, right? And the reason why, there's several reasons why. Today I'm writing, lighting a white candle due to the fact of that cleansing property. You're thinking bring, you're bringing in white light to the space, right? Second thing is, is uh, here's a piece of Palo Santo previously burned. Um, but, um, but also, you know, if you keep trying to light this sucker, you're, you're just gonna burn your fingers or like, it's not worth it. This is burnt, this is lighting. And the, the tapered, these candles that burn within themselves, they melt down within themselves, but they hold for about an hour and a half, two hours, depending. So if your smoke runs out, right, you can always just bring it over here, right, and light it. So I'm gonna like get this a nice, really, really good smoke, right? Get it really going. And like I said, make sure you have all of your doors and everything open because you will set off the fire alarm, which I'm hoping, I always get nervous with that from my old apartment. But anyway, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Um, and this is pretty one. It has um, different flowers, marigolds and things that are on there that you can use. But you wanna get a really good smoke on this, right? As you can see. And then you can, you can use anything that you have. Um, I do have, let's see, I have one of these, um, ooh, that smells really good, um, cauldrons, right? And I have stuff, I'm gonna use this, it's my burning bowl, so I'm gonna use it later. These are just sticks of, um, yeah, they're um, just sticks. You don't need to know what all that. But if I'm gonna burn bay leaves or whatever, I put that in my cauldron. Um, I have one of these cool, you know, you buy them at whatever metaphysical store. They have the stand that comes with it. Abalone shell, you don't have to have it in the abalone shell. I have plenty of regular shells from the store that you can use. Um, you can either use your hand, um, or you use this beautiful little feather or any feather that you find that you're attracted to, you know, and you smudge up and down. First though, start with yourself, cleanse yourself. And I always like to do over my head through my Sears, um, area, you know, around the, the third eye over my shoulders and then kind of all down around the feet, out the shoulders and everything. So I hope that helps you if you decide that you want to join me in a full moon cleanse today. Um, my, yeah, I vacuumed and dusted and, you know, tried to wipe the floor. Um, but yeah, these are, this is what I'm doing today. And I'm all, I'm feeling better that I'm getting rid of the stagnant energy of what I can tackle today. You know, that's it. What can I tackle today that's gonna make me feel even more energized? I, I just uh, have to share this with you. And you can always make your own stuff. Um, that could be for another day. But um, yeah, join me in doing a full moon cleanse and releasing whatever you wanna get rid of, whatever you wanna shift, what new you wanna create. Uh, hope this helps. Happy full moon. Mahalo Nui.